In this class, we are going to learn how to create our very first application from scratch in our Apex workspace. In our classes earlier, we have seen how we can work with the SQL workshop and we have seen how to make use of the object browser, SQL command scripts and few of the concepts in the utilities, RESTful services and launching SQL developer web. In this demonstration, we are going to create a fresh application on top of our existing table. Now, in order to make the application development quick, we don't have to spend a lot of time writing DDL statements that is to create the table, joins between the table, inserting the table data. What we can do is we can go over to the utilities, go to the sample data set. So, we will try to create a sample employee and department table data. That is, click on the install over here. I'm going for the English language. Suppose if you select any other language, then you can select the appropriate language based on which data you want to create your application. Suppose I'm going for Arabic, then you can select the Arabic. Now I will select English for this demonstration. Click on next. Only one language data you can insert at a time. Suppose if you want to overwrite the data, then again you can come over to the same sample data set and you can click on the update and select the language so that it will overwrite. So at a time only one language data can be inserted into the table at the time of recording this class. This is the restriction currently in the Apex. Click on install data set. It says our table and the view has been created successfully. We can straight away click on the create application from this wizard itself. For this demonstration I will click on exit so that I can demonstrate how we can build the application using app builder. Next we will verify whether the data got inserted or not. In order to verify, we have to go to object browser, expand the tables. So employee and the department table has been created and the data is successfully inserted by Oracle in few clicks. And also a view has been created by Oracle. Now we'll go to the Apex homepage. So in order to create an application in Apex, we have to go to App Builder. Clicking on the App Builder, you will land into the App Builder dashboard page. Currently, we don't have any applications created in our Apex workspace. So I'm in this workspace. So workspace name will be visible at the bottom over here. So I'm in the learning Apex 1001. And also on the right top corner, you will see the name who is accessing this workspace. And under that, you will see the workspace name. And also the locale that is I'm using this application in English. Suppose if you have created n number of applications in your Apex workspace, then all this application will be available over here as a list or as a card. So currently we don't have any applications created. So we are seeing those two card information. That is, it says create a new application or create an application using a starter or sampler. This we had seen in our earlier class. Just for demonstration purpose, we had created a charts application from the starter apps. And on the right side, you will see a few of the features over here that is to manage the backup, export application, browse by facets. So we will touch upon this concept a later. Apart from creating application, we can import the application from a file. So we will see in our subsequent classes how to do the same. And also we can have our dashboard information over here and the workspace related utilities. So we will slowly learn all those concepts. So in order to create an application from scratch, we can click on this create over here the card. Also, we can click on this, which says create a new app. So, we'll click on this create. I will provide a name over here. I will tell I'm building this for employee. Identifier, this is the unique ID associated with your application in the workspace. So, if you want to change, you can change. I'm keeping this as default. You can click on the create application or you can tell use create app wizard. I will go for the create app wizard instead because it will help us to create the application like a wizard. So if you are creating for the first time, always go for a create app using the wizard. So what information we had populated in the earlier screen, it is visible over here. I will name this as employee details app. So every application will have a logo in Apex. So if you want to change, just click on this icon. And you can select what logo or icon you want to display in front of this application. I will go for this. If you want to change the color of the icon, you can change like this. Once selected, you can click on save icon. Alternatively, you can upload your own icon over here. Just drop the icon over here in this section. I will go with the default. That is, I will select one of the icons over here available by Oracle and click on save icon.
selected icon will be displayed over here. Coming to the appearance, you can change the appearance. By default, Oracle supports a universal theme when we create any application unless you change the theme. Suppose if I want to change this to Redwood, I can go for the Redwood over here and I can select where should I show the navigation menu that is at the top or the bottom or like a mega menu. What you see in the Oracle Cloud Infra when you get into the database actions, you will see this mega menu. I will go with default that is I want the navigation menu which comes from the side and I will go with the Redwood light theme. I will Click on this save changes. Based on your selection, it will show the appearance over here that we have selected a redwood light. Now coming to the application, Apex application is nothing but it is the collection of pages. When we build any application, we will interact with multiple things in the application. Suppose I'm creating an application that is to interact with the employees data. Then I should have an application landing page wherein it will show what features this application supports. Suppose if I want to know the details of all the employees, I will click on one of the tab. It will navigate to a different page where it will show the details of employees in like in a table or in like a chart or so and so forth. Suppose if I click on any employee in that page, it has to open another page where it will allow me to edit the employee information, view the information, delete the employee record. There are a number of possibilities when we create any application. So I will click on this add page and I will tell I want to show the information available in employees table using the interactive report. I will click on this interactive report. So in detail, what is interactive report and all we will see in the later part of this course. As of now, I will give the name as employee interactive report that is the IR. Suppose if you want to set the icon at the page level, you can set the icon as well. I will go for this icon. Suppose if you want to create the application based on a table, that is what we are demonstrating in this case. We have to select the table available in our workspace by clicking on this icon. So this will list all the tables as well as the views available in our database or in the workspace over here. I will go for the employee. I'm selecting the employee. Alternatively, you can go with the SQL query as well. You can write your own SQL query select so and so columns from the so and so table, put the where condition, what you want to achieve with the customized SQL query, you can switch over to the query and write your query over here. I will go with employee table over here. I will check mark include form. So include form is needed because I want to show the employee details available in my database in this application page in the tabular fashion. I also want to interact with the particular employee record. Like if I click one of the employees in the table, Suppose I click on employee 101 ID, then it has to show me a form where it will show the details of the employee which I selected and also it will allow me to modify the records of employee or delete the employee. So these things will be included by default by check marking this include form. So with this context, I will click on add page so that it will create a page in my application. So like this, we can add a number of pages over here and it will show the list of all the pages which we have added in this application. Coming to the features, there are n number of features supported by Apex at the time of recording this class over here. First one is the install progressive web app. As you know, Apex applications built on the desktop can run on the mobile, which means Apex applications are very responsive. On any screen size, the application will learn seamlessly. So I will check mark all the features over here. So it can send the push notification. It will have a about page. It will have a configurations, themes, activity reporting, access based control, feedback option as well. We will learn one by one all these things going ahead in this course. Coming to the settings, it will have the application ID over here. If you want to change, you can change it over here. It will show the schema where this application will be hosted. Coming to the authentication type, you can go with the database accounts, like you can log in with the help of database credentials, like the schema credentials, what you have in your database, or you can go with the Oracle Apex accounts, where you can mention the workspace where it is hosted over here and provide the Apex username and the password. Also, Apex supports n number of other authentication mechanisms as well. So you will learn one by one all those things later in this course. Coming to the language, English, I have selected and there are additional advanced settings and UI defaults. As of now, I will keep all this default. So this is what the wizard will look like in order to create the application. Suppose if you are satisfied or if you are done with populating all the details, you can click on create application. So this will create an application and host it in your workspace in a couple of seconds.
our application is successfully created and we will be navigated straight into the dashboard page for our newly created application so at the time it will show the icon which we selected at the time of creating our application it will have the application and then followed by that the id we had given id as 100 and then it will show the application name now every application will have few properties like we can run the applications right within this dashboard page we will have a supporting objects, shared components, utilities for this application. We can export and import this application for migration purpose. And on the right hand side, as you see, we are having the feature to delete the application, copy applications. Copy application is nothing but it's like creating a duplicate of your application. Suppose if you have a similar requirement like an application which is built earlier. So you can clone it or copy it and you can extend that particular application. You can add feature page over here and there are a number of options. So when we created application, we had gone for employee IR page. So this is the page we had created. Other pages, what you see over here is created by Oracle. There was a feature section in the Apex when we created application. So it has created a login page, administration page, configuration, push notification, log messages, all those things for the access control and all. It has automatically created so that the users will focus just on solving the business problems rather than wasting their time building this administration related features in the application all these things will be taken care of by oracle in just a few clicks apart from employee ir that is interactive report page oracle has created one more page over here so this employee we had provided when we check mark that include form so include form when you select that will add a employee form page over here if you want to see how this application will actually look when we run in the browser we have to click on this run application also, we can click on this icon over here. So, we'll click on this run application. So, this is going to open up the application in a new browser tab. I will quickly populate my username and password over here. Once done, click on sign in. So, this is the dashboard landing page for our employee details app. On the home page, we will have this employee IR, clicking on which it will navigate us to the employee interactive report. Also, we had told we want to see the navigation menu on the left side. So, it has added the navigation menu on the left side and employee IR is available over here. So, administration page will be added by Oracle when we check mark the all features we need in this application. And also, it has added the settings. It has added the feedback section, about section and install that is for the PWA. If you check mark install PWA feature, then it will show this option over here so that you can install this as a local app on your desktop or in the mobile devices. I will click on employee IR. So this will give the list of all the employees available in my database like an interactive report. Interactive report will have its own features like in, you can browse for a specific employee record over here. Like I'm searching for the Adam, I can see the Adam records and also it will have set of actions we will learn more about the interactive reports going ahead in this course suppose if i want to interact or change the data of a particular employee in this case the adam i will click on this edit so this will open the employees page over here so this is the second page which oracle has created that is employee so this will open over here so this is called as a dialogue and it is opening like a drawer now i can change the record over here and down to adam one and i can click on apply changes so that it will the data in the database suppose if you want to check whether it has updated in the vacuum we can go to the object browser go to the employees over to the data and see the atom has been changed to atom one so like this we can build the app in few clicks or in few minutes from scratch and showcase to your customer that what apex can do in matter of few seconds